Okay, so back to funeral directing ninjas. So this week I wanted to talk more about how we can take some of these skills of just um, looking at things from different angles and being behind the scenes and um, kind of being on stealth mode and using those to help us better our business, help better the customer experience that we give to the families that we serve. So um, I think in doing that, we have to look at our businesses in a new light and in a different way and um, kind of open our eyes and as we do you know we're during the funeral we are looking at every variable we're watching the people coming in last minute we're watching the pastor we're watching the family we're watching to make sure the body doesn't purge we're watching to you know just make sure all these little pieces are in play but we need to look at our business um, in that same exact way in terms of how maybe a customer perceives our business. So few items that I think we can do, like when you get done watching this, literally go do one of these and see if you find something that you can improve in your business. So first, just go to your website. Go to your website with a purpose. Go to your website um, with maybe a specific question that a customer might have. So say, uh, you are a grieving widow and you're wondering what your funeral home can provide for somebody that is in that position. Go look there for that specific information. What do you have? What's available? What, were, what are they going to find if they look? Or a price shopper is looking. What are they going to find on your website um, to help them to make a choice and to find um, the information that they need? If you're having a hard time finding that information on your website, so is every other person that's going to go there. So get in there, look around, um, and, and find that answer for yourself. Um, when you drive to work, if you work off or if you live off site, I know a lot of funeral doctors live at the funeral home and um, just walk downstairs. But get in your car, go, you know, get lunch, purposefully come to the funeral home in a different way. Come to the funeral home, enter a different entrance if there's more than one entrance. Look at the ground, look at the parking lot, look at the landscape, look at the outside of the building. Walk in the building in the front door that you know your families use that you're serving. Look around the door. Are there cobwebs? Does the paint need to maybe be touched up a little bit? Does it need a little sweep or um, you know, get the leaf floor out and just blow off debris? Look around and see what they're experiencing as they're walking in um, and see what they, you know, what they might view or how they perceive your business from that vantage point. Um, and you may wonder, how is the ninja thing? Well, you're looking at things from a different perspective. Like you really have to take yourself back as if um, you're not the funeral director, you're not the owner, you're not the business person and you're somebody else and you're just kind of stealth mode going in to observe this place um, from different eyes from a different vantage point let's see so then sit in their seat after you get the chapel set up for visitation or for a service how often do you go sit in that front row and in that first seat and see what the family's going to see see how the body looks in the casket from their level if you can see their, you know, the nose and half an ear coming up over the edge, how does that look to them? Um, are, is, is the shirt uh, smooth and, and is there any fuzzies and things like that? You know, look at, can they see the pastor? Is the casket blocking the pastor? Is the, um, do the flowers look good at that vantage point? Um, how does everything lay out? How does everything look? Sit in their seat. Same thing with arrangements. Sit in where they sit in an arrangement room. Are they looking at um, a mound of catalogs sitting in front of them, between you and them, that you're used to seeing from your side? But think about sitting from their side. What are they looking at while you're talking to them? Um, is there scuff marks all over the coffee table because people put their foot up, you know, put their feet up there during arrangements and it just needs to be cleaned off on their side? Or are there papers sticking out of a drawer on their side? So sit in their seat, see what they see. Same with um, maybe at a grave side. If you're getting the grave side set up for um, the service, for the families there, 
just sit in that front row, just look around. Is the carpet nice down on the ground? You know, the throw carpets, is, is everything kind of how it, it needs to be for them? But look at it from their perspective, not yours. Um, look at the bathrooms. You know, a lot of times you'll have um, the public bathrooms and you have your bathroom and you might clean it once and then not go back in there for a while. Well, go in there, look around. Do you need to maybe change up a picture? Just do something to, you know, spruce it up just a little bit or um, do you put cheap toilet paper in the customer bathroom? Um, I was once told, and this was, I think, just good advice, is if your bathroom's dirty, people are going to wonder what the rest of the place that they can't see looks like. You know, is the prep room going to be dirty that their loved one is in? Are you just a dirty person? So it's a good um, that's how customers perceive you and your business by um, your bathroom oftentimes. Do you use cheap toilet paper? Is it one ply crappy toilet paper? Because that to them shows that you are cheap, but then you might be charging them a lot of money, but you can't even get good toilet paper. It's those little things I've been told and I've you know read articles about and heard from so many different people that you have to pay attention to those things that seem silly but they make a difference with customers um, walk into your building or be in the chapel and say okay if I'm a grieving family member I need a tissue how far do I need to go to get a tissue you know Kleenex okay now I've used that tissue where's a garbage can look at, at where your placement of garbage cans are and Kleenex are just simple things that that family is going to use but placement is key when it comes to those so maneuver work around the room in that different mindset look and see where those things are so get into your business be behind the scenes as a new person there and really know and understand the layout of your stuff the last thing is Google your business Google you know funeral and then your town's name see what pops up Google your business name um, you know do you know that there's a rant and rave page on Craigslist where people can post basically anything they want on there that was kind of the old-school original um, place where people could kind of complain about businesses in a blatant horrible way never knew about it but I mean this was maybe I don't know, six, seven years ago before social media became as big as it is on reviews. Um, and, you know, we had found a business that we knew something popped up there and we we're like, whoa, somebody's just trashing there and there's nobody monitoring it. There's no way to counteract it. It just is there for kind of all eternity. So anytime anybody would ever Google that business, that Craigslist review would pop up uh, and it was horrible. So, you know, Google your business and you find out then where people have maybe posted positive or negative things about your business and kind of get in there and see what's going on behind the scenes of customers' perspective. Once you get all these key components, you're able to then, you know, reinforce or make some changes to better what you're doing, which betters the customer experience. Even one little change in these areas is going to be better for the customers as they come in and it will be noticed by somebody and you may never know that it's noticed but it will be noticed